Who taught you, please? Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin? To Tell the kid that was bullied for being darker than Starry Night. Tell him that there's nothing wrong with the color of his skin. Tell the lady about to bleach her tone for the boyfriend that we already have enough stereotypes of shame. Tell her that the buffons tormenting her are more shallow than the melanin in her skin. We never could be, we never would be everyone's choice. Be proud of our heritage. We don't have anything to be ashamed of. I want to get the language so right that everybody here will cry out. Yes, I'm black. I'm proud of it. I'm black and beautiful. Tell those melodramatic about the crime that all they see is the pain and the shame. Tell them of the boy in a Jegunde wilderness walk with a university just to make ends meet on the moment. It's ash and the economy scream. Tell them of my love of decency who would not part the opening of her ties in the eye pain, one eyed snake of prostitution, though her stomach aches and menstrual pains are in rhythms of an ending circle as constant as dawn. Tell those wishing to scrub the dirt out of their skin that we, we wear our skins like generals, we are the scars that gave him the stars, heads in the heel, shoulders, eye, and the majestic stride with the right ear of arrogance, of a justified pride. You may write me down in history with your bitter twisted line. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust. Tell them we stand on headless skulls and broken bones broken by the battering rams of unjustified anarchy on them whose self-worth debate was strong enough to bring a great nation to war. Tell them I am screaming, I am black, I am proud. Tell them of my named and unnamed ancestors known only by the disyllabic name of Zulu how they were weighed down by chains of absolute oppressions anchored on the muddy waters of slavery and tripped into the quicksand of segregation how they kissed the stars every night with songs of freedom tell them to be proud of jazz and black poetry of the black afro air and black pandas of the black power salute and freedom slogans tell them to be proud of those behind jail bells holding and singing we shall overcome tell them of the nameless old woman with tired feet but rested soul under the blood testy son of the Montgomery boycott Tell them of those stormed into the stormy seas of imprisonment, swimming through shark infested waters of segregation during the dark night of appetite. How they struck between drowning and floating before they fainted on the shaking island of liberty. Tell them of Sankara, Lumumba, Quaim, Madiba, Jaja. Remind them of Merton, Malcolm, Marcos, Ew, the boy. Tell them of how the wealth of the West was the loot and the bended back of African slaves. Tell them that despite the uncertainties of today and tomorrow, I sing it out loud that I am black and I am proud. We declare our right on this earth to be a man, to be a human being, to be respected as a human being, to be given the rights of a human being in this society, on this earth, in this day, which we intend to bring into existence by any means necessary. And though they gave us the bullet before the ballot, breaking our unbowed heads with the brick of eight, I am black, I am proud. Though it took us hundreds of years to get here through assassinations and conspiracies, I am black, I am proud, I am black, I am proud, I am proud, I am black, I am black and proud, I am proud and black, I am proud to be black, I am black to be proud. And if you still don't believe me, I will put my words in the squeaky tires of the broken wheelchair that you carry our mother with. I will put it in the whispers of lovebirds whistling it as the song past the leaves in the trees. Till everyone knows that I am black by nature, but I am proud by choice. Sailor. I come to say to you this afternoon, however difficult the moment, yes, sir. however frustrating the hour, it will not be long because truth crushed earth 
will rise again. Yes, sir. How long? Not long. Yes, sir. Because no lie can live forever. Yes, sir. How long? Not long. How long? Yes, because you shall reap what you sow. Yes, sir. How long? Not long. Because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards the sun. Yes, sir. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. This is a Vicadex concept. Follow us on Instagram at victoradex94.